Thank you for everybody watching the replay. Um, remember, you cannot comment, but you can leave hearts if you're watching the replay. Thank you for joining Terrapin 1969. I'm going to go ahead and tap the screen. Hi, my name is Leslie Walters. I am the creator of ThatMompreneurLife.com, and I like to scope faith-based um, inspiration for entrepreneurs on Periscope. But right now, today, thank you for joining. Um, I just wanted to scope about how I figured out how to get my scopes onto YouTube without using QuickTime. And um, you see a lot of s tutorials using QuickTime, and I don't have an Apple device. I don't have an iPhone. I don't have a Mac. So what I have is I have an Android phone, a Samsung Android phone, and then I have a Google Chromebook. Thank you for joining, Erica. Um, so I have an Android phone and a Google Chromebook. And so if I wanted to, you know, save my, my scopes to my gallery, because I don't have a camera roll, so if I saved it to my gallery and then uploaded it from there, you would not have the hearts in the comments. And so on YouTube, it would look like I was talking to myself. I don't want that. I want to have the hearts and comments showing on the screen so that whoever is watching my scope on YouTube realizes that it's a different format and that it's actually a Periscope replay. So the only time I've ever found to do that on YouTube is watching tutorials using, you know, where you have basically, you connect your phone to your your um, Apple device and then run QuickTime. QuickTime will show the Periscope and, and capture it and then you upload it to YouTube. Well, I can't do that. So um, what I found was an app. Here, let me turn the screen around in a second. Um, an app that you can find on the Google Play Store and it is called, here, if you see this, it's called Android Lollipop, if my screen will, yeah, okay. So this is just a web page that's talking about it, but if you're gonna go to the Google Play Store and you're going to download Lollipop Screen Recorder, by Rivalis Studios. So that's the name of the app. And so I'm on my phone right now, so you know I can't like show you. I'm on my phone on Periscope, so I can't actually show you downloading it and everything. So I just showed you what it, what the name of it was so that you can go find that particular app in the Google Store. Um, Lollipop Screen Recorder. It's an easy download, quick, easy, and you're just going to open up that app and what it's going to do, you open up the app, you start it to recording. It's going to record everything that's on your screen. Plus, you can also have it record everything that's on your microphone. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm recording this Periscope actually using the app right now. I opened up the app, started the recording, then I went into Periscope, started my broadcast. So it's recording everything I'm speaking into my microphone, and it's recording everything that's going on the screen right now. Even when I tap to the other camera, it's still going to record because anything that's on the screen is recording. And it's going to save that in my phone as an MP4 file. So once you finish recording your Periscope and everything, you're just going to click the top of the screen and click Stop Recording. So you go back into the app, you find the file that you just created. It's going to be called something crazy, some long stream of numbers and letters. And then you're going to upload that through your phone onto Google Drive or Dropbox or whatever app you like to use the most to download, you know, most of your large files. I like to use Google Drive because I have a Chromebook, so I use Google Drive a lot. So I take that MP4 file that I just created in the app, I upload it to Google Drive. And then from Google Drive, I upload it to my, what's it called? My, whatever I'm going to edit videos with. I like to use Wii Video. So here's Wii, Wii Video. Like it doesn't require any software because I have a Chromebook. Again, I can't download any software. So like I can't download editing software. I have to use it online. So that's what I'm using right now. WeVideo.com. Um, and you can pay for it or it's also free. If you use the free version, you don't get as much storage and 
upload time but you can just create videos as you see the timeline here you, you you edit videos just the same way you would on any video editing thing and so you're gonna upload the little file that you just saved to your phone you're gonna upload it to your Google Drive and then upload from Google Drive to we video or whatever editing software you use then you're also going to run into a problem because your you have your screen because you just edited your screen sorry you just recorded your screen i mean you're going to get this playback with these two bars on the side when you play back i don't know if you've ever seen that let me see let me look at this other this is a this is somebody else's video right here so she created kind of like this, her name's Danielle Ford. You may have known her, on, may see her on Periscope. She's pretty popular on Periscope. She, ha this is her, you know, her replay right here that she did. And if she hadn't created this whole, whole thing, like with the follow me on this side and the follow, like this whole picture graphic, you would just have black space right here. So it doesn't look so good when you're watching something on YouTube and there's this like little you know obviously shot on a camera like picture right in here and then on the other sides are two black bars nobody likes to watch a video on youtube like that so you're gonna have to go into your favorite photo editor whether you have photoshop or picmonkey.com i like to use canva.com so it's a free again free video editing online program and it's called Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Pick Monkey is also free. But again, I can't download any software because I have a Chromebook. So I use stuff that's online. But you use, um, you're going to, ah, you're going to go onto canva.com. You're going to create a new picture and it's going to be, 1920 by 1080 pixels so you have to choose that ratio um, otherwise your picture is not going to be the right length and width but 1920 by 1080 pixels and here's one that I created already so I'm gonna have to there if it's gonna focus there we go that's one that I created just for the purposes of this tutorial. So you can see it has like, follow me on Periscope, Twitter, blah, blah, blah. And then I put like this pink shaded box in the middle. That's where the video is gonna go when I put everything together, right? So you can see replays at my blog, that mompreneurlife.com, blah, blah, blah. Thank you everybody watching the replay. Again, this is Leslie Walters. I just froze up. So this is part two. Thank you for joining Street Slide. This is part two because I just froze. And so thank you for joining Brasco Live. I just am going to kind of end where, I mean, start where I ended before I froze up or I hit something or something happened. But anyway, um, I'm not going to use landscape because that's what froze me up. But this is, I ended where I talked about you have to kind of create an overlay end card or card to go over the um, the video, just like on this right here, like she did right there. So that's her video. That's her scope in the middle. You have to kind of create something. See how the, the comments are there in the middle. You have to create something, otherwise you'll have these two black bars on either side and you do not want the two black bars. So you have to go into your favorite video editor. My favorite one is canva.com. You can maybe see if it'll focus, but canva.com is the one I use to create this one just for the illustration of this video. So that's the one I created and you upload, basically you create it, you make this little bar and the, like, you just do like a cutout of whatever kind of shape in the middle, like a rectangle so that you um, can put the video in the middle. You upload that to your favorite video editor. Mine, again, I'm using is wevideo.com. And so this is kind of like, I, I did a, I went on an Alex Khan, um, and an Alex Khan scope, and I, you know, did the screen there. So that's what it would look like 
if I was Alex Kahn and trying to do an Alex Kahn scope. So I put it all together that way. So I will, like that would, that's what the end result would basically look like if it was me on screen and not Alex Kahn. So just to recap, you go to the Android Play Store, you download Lollipop Screen Recorder. Lollipop Screen Recorder by Rivulus Studios. It's pretty easy to find. You just download it, um, you open it up. What you do is you click that, you click record before you start your scope and it's gonna record everything that goes on your screen. Um, that's what I did with the Alex Kahn scope. I was recording basically the scope that was happening on screen. I uploaded, I saved it to my Google Drive. I uploaded that from my Google Drive to WeVideo, which was the editing software I like to use online. But you can use whichever software you like. It's actually not software, it's just an online editing program. Then you have to go into your favorite uh, image, so image program or image creator. I like to use canva.com. Create a, what is it? It has to be 1920 by 1080 pixels. Sorry for all these like different things I'm going to. 1920 by 1080 pixels to create, that's with the width and the everything that it has to be. To create this, create a part in the middle for where your video is going to go. Otherwise you're gonna have black boxes on either side. You don't want that. Upload those both to WeVideo. And then you will have, you know, you put it together where you overlay them both. And then you're gonna have basically a broadcast that it'll play will look like this. And then that's what it's going to look like. That's me kind of clicking on the screen during the middle of my broadcasting session. So I hope that made sense. I, if you have any questions, definitely shoot me some or anything. If you found value from this, um, let me tap the screen, turn it around. If you found value from this, definitely let me know. Share the broadcast. Give me hearts. However, if you have questions or whatever, I don't know if the haven't seen any hearts or um, comments yet, so I don't know. I don't think I clicked limited. <laughs> I don't think I limited you guys, but definitely, yeah, let me know what you think, if you have any questions or anything like that. But this is basically just the way that I figured out how to do this because, excuse me, I don't have an Apple device. I don't have an iPhone. I don't have a Mac. Um, I have a Google Chromebook and an Android phone. And so I want to upload my scopes to YouTube, especially, you know, tutorials like this one without, you know, without having to use QuickTime, which is what a lot of tutorials teach you to do. So anyway, this, um, this is part two <laughs> of a two part because my first one froze. So this is the second part. And hopefully if you um, miss anything, you can catch it in the first replay. Okay. Um, again, my name is Leslie Walters. Um, I am the creator of thatmompreneurlife.com. I'm doing this as part of a 31 day Periscope challenge and it's called Periscope with Purpose. Today was the theme to teach people something. So we had to do a tutorial. So that is what I did, a tutorial. So um, you can find out about Periscope with Purpose at blogclarity.com. All right, everybody have a good night. Take care and...